All right, so we started off with negative 9 times the difference of, meaning we were subtracting two things, twice the number in 3 is greater than or equal to 9. Step 3 says use the distributive property to get rid of any parentheses. So let's write this over here, negative 9 times 2x minus 3 is greater than or equal to 9. What am I distributing here? I'm distributing the negative 9, which is going to get me negative 18x. plus 27. Negative 9 times negative 3 is going to give me positive 27 is greater than or equal to 9. Do I need to combine like terms? There's nothing to combine on this side, and there's only a 9 over here, so we don't have to do this stuff. Yeah. Step 5, eliminate the constant that is on the side with the variable. That constant is going to be this 27, isn't it? That gives me negative 18x is greater than or equal to negative 18. So I've got negative 18x is greater than or equal to negative 18. My next step is to try to get a positive invisible 1. How do I do that? Divide by negative 18. Negative 18 over negative 18 gives me positive 1 on both sides, but I'm dividing by a negative, so what do I have to do? I have to flip the inequality sign. So it went from greater than or equal to to less than or equal to. On the left side is an x, and on the right side is a 1. Now, in this case, I can use the 1, can't I? because it's less than or equal to. How many people used a 1? What other numbers did you all use then to check? I heard some zeros. Are you seeing how zero can be helpful now? Yeah. All right, let's try it with zero. Let's go back to negative 9 times 2x minus 3 is greater than or equal to 9. We're saying x is less than or equal to, to 1, and since 0 is less than 1, I can use the 0 to sub in. Negative 9 times 2 times 0 minus 3 is greater than or equal to 9. Solve inside the parentheses first, right? We can kind of do this step in our head. 2 times 0 is going to be 0 leaving us with what inside the parentheses? I can put, yeah, I'm going to run out of room. <laughs> Negative 9 is going to be 0 minus 3 is greater than or equal to 9. I get negative 9 times negative 3 is greater than or equal to 9. Negative 9 times negative 3 is positive 27 is greater than or equal to 9. Is that true? Yes. This checks then. We can go and we can graph our solution that was back up here. 0, 1, 2. Circle the 1. Does it get filled in? Yes. Yes. And it goes to the left. Okay, I think there's only one more and it is on the back of the next page. Four minus 
3 times the number is less than 25. What's our keywords here that turn this word sentence into this number inequality? Yep, minus times less than. Those keywords are telling us our actions. We've got the number four, we've got the number three, and we've got the number 25. Honestly, I found this one the easiest of them to um, write, and I thought it was awful that this was way in deep in the packet because I feel like we've done all the hard brain work already. 4 minus 3x. Why is it 3x? Because it's 3 times a number. Now, this isn't saying 4 less than 3 times a number. It's saying 4 minus 3 times a number. So we get to start with the 4 this time is less than 25. Let's give you a few minutes to see if you can come up with a solution to this following the steps, and then we will come back together again. 